Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Version 14 of WYSIWYG Web Builder was released about some weeks ago and it comes with so much new features and functionalities. In this video tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to work with Google Web Fonts in version 14 of WYSIWYG Web Builder. The good thing is that this time around, you don't know how to go to fonts.google.com, download fonts and then install it on your system. But now you can install the Google font you want to use in your project right from with your web builder and go ahead and work with them. Now let's take a look at how to do that. To get started, let's go to the tools section. Under tools section, you realize you can see Google fonts here that is under site tools. Now there's another way you can get to that also. You can come to options and then when you come here, you see fonts and then you can work with your Google web fonts. Now let's take a look at the first option. So we click on fonts under tools. And then we hit on add. Now this is going to give us all Google web fonts and all we have to do is to select the font we want to use and then add it to our project or install it on our Wizard Web Builder um, version 14. So let me just search in here to look out for the font I may want to use in the project. So I'm looking out for Open Sans and then I have a couple of options with Open Sans. So I have a couple of subsets as well depending on what I may probably want. So in this case, I'm not going to choose any of these. I'm just going to leave it to the default and then I'll go ahead and install it. Now I can even preview the size um, that the size I have in here. So I can change the size to see how that particular font is going to look that is from a smaller size to a bigger size. So I'm just going to go ahead to install this one. Because this is going to work with the internet, it's going to take a while depending on the speed of your internet. So as you can see, I have my installed here. All I have to do is to hit on OK. Now let's see if we have this font installed. So I'm going to get started by clicking on test from the two box. And then let me just draw here. I'm going to double click on this to activate the font section. So I'm going to highlight on this and then I'm going to click on the drop down arrow to see that I have my font truly installed. And if I scroll down a bit, you could see that the font is actually installed here. That is open sans and I can actually use that. It comes with a couple of options. So we have open sans. We have the bold version, we have a lighter version, and then semi bold or medium. So I can choose any of these one, and then I apply that here. Now let's take a look at this next section of installing Google Web Fonts using version 14. So I come to Tools, and then I come to Options. This time around, I'm going to go to Fonts. Under this section that says HTML, when I click on drop down arrow by at font face, these are the options that I have in here. So I'm just going to stick with that last one, which says use Google fonts for non web safe fonts. So I'll hit on that. And then I have an option here that says manage where I get to add a font I want to use. So I hit on add and then I specify the font family I want to use. So this time around, I have open, let's say, um, open sans installed. So I get to select this one, hit on OK. And then I can remove that as well. Now let's hit on OK. Now there's another option to that which comes at the um, bottom here that says uh, Lange Google Font Manager. Now what this is going to do is to actually open this particular section. So let's just hit on that. And as you can see, we already have Open Sans installed. And I can hit on Add and then I can add a couple of uh, Google Web Fonts from here. All I have to do is to select the font, install it, and then I'm good to go. So as I said earlier, this is um, version 14 of Wizard Web Builder. It comes with so much new features and functionalities. And in my subsequent videos, I'm going to be recording a couple of tutorials on how to achieve a couple of tasks using version 14 of Wizard Web Builder. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.